Hey Fly Tires, Darren here. Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a simple guide pattern. This one is specifically designed for New York Salmon River. It's called the Salmon River Flea. It also goes by another name, the Steelhead Flea. But it's supposed to represent a fertilized salmon egg. And it's been quite a productive fly. Basically just dead drift this in along any of the deeper pools along the rivers. Um, one of the accomplishments of this fly has been that it's picked up a Grand Slam, a Salmon River Grand Slam being a uh, King Coho Brown, as well as one of the steelheads in the river. So let's have a look at the material list and get started. Let's get started. We're going to get a fresh hook in the vise. We're using a Mustad Signature S82-3906B, and this is a size 10. It's a 3 extra heavy, 2 extra long. It's a nice choice of hook for this pattern. It'll give you a little bit of backbone in it. And we're going to be using Ultra Thread 140D Fluorescent Fire Orange. And we'll just start by putting a base layer of thread on and we'll wrap that from behind the eye up to just over the hook point and then uh, we'll take our thread back up to the front and we'll trim off that tag end it's a really simple fly and we only use a couple materials here's the first we're going to be using this white um, poly yarn so this is a uh, an old old one that I've got from uh, Hook and Hackle Company. So we're just going to take some white poly yarn and we're just going to tie a short length onto the front and then we're going to tie that down along the hook shank and you want to make sure you put a little bit of heft into your wraps and make sure that that yarn stays on top. It's a little bit slippery so you want to make sure that the wraps are tight. Then we'll trim the back end. So as I said before, the idea of this fly is to make it look like a fertilized egg. So we're going to use salmon-y, eggy colors. So this is a pink we're going to use. Uh, we're just going to strip a few of the fibers off the core. And then we're going to tie it in by the core string. So I also do this in reds, orange, other pink um, few in chartreuse just to give a little bit of a different look to it. So we tied that in, we wrapped our thread back up to the front and now we'll just start by, we're going to just wrap this forward. You just want close tight wraps and I think this is a medium sized chenille. I don't remember exactly, this one wasn't labeled but it looks to be the right color and we'll just tie that off up by the front piece of poly yarn and uh, just want to make sure we have that tied in and then we're going to add a whip finish and you can do this either underneath that front poly yarn wing or you can do it over top. If you do it over top the wing will tend to lay a little flatter. We'll just cut our thread there and we'll add a little bit of head cement to this fly and then we're good to go. Hey Fly Tires, thanks for stopping by and watching my fly tying video. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell icon to get notified on the latest fly patterns, tips, and reviews. If you enjoyed the video, take a second and hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can post them below in the comment section. 
I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for your support of the channel. And until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.